Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bukhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speck of bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to you, Akim out there. And this is another news article for In the News on October 5th, 2022, on this Wednesday night at uh, 7 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the highlight of this news article and it reads from abcnews.go.com and by Hong Jin Kim and Kim Tong of Hong uh, Associated Press. And I highlighted the news article and it reads for in the news of October 5th, 2022. And it reads North Korea uh, continues missile launches as U.S. redeploys carry. North Korea has launched two ballistic missiles towards its eastern waters as the United States redeployed one of its aircraft uh, carriers near the Korean Peninsula in the response to North Korea's recent launch of a powerful missile over Japan. <clears throat> and it says North Korea ballistic missile sent directly over Japan and Japanese citizens were shaken on Tuesday after a North Korean ballistic missile was sent directly over Japan for the first time in five years before landing in a sea, according to the Associated Press of Seoul, South Korea. North Korea launched two ballistic missiles towards its eastern waters on Thursday after the United States redeployed one of its aircraft carriers near the Korean Peninsula in response to Pyongyang's previously launch of a powerful nuclear capable, capable missile over Japan. South Korean Joint Chief, Chief of Staff said in a statement of the launch were 22 minutes apart from North Korea's capital region. <clears throat> And it says South Korea has boosted its surveillance, posture, and maintenance, maintains a readiness in close coordination with the United States. Japanese Prime Minister Fumo Kashida also confirms North Korea uh, missile launches, says the weapons firing are absolutely in intolerable. The latest missile launches suggest that North Korea leader Kim Jong-un is determined to continue with weapons testing aiming at boosting its nuclear arsenal in defiance of international sanctions. Many experts say Kim goal, Kim's goal is to eventually win U.S. recognition as a legitimate nuclear state as the lifting of those sanctions, though the international community has shown no signs of allowing that to happen. It says the launches were North Korea's sixth round of missile tests less than two weeks, which have prompted condemnation from the United States and other countries. Japanese Defense Minister Yakusu Hamanda Hiro, Hiromanda, uh, said the two North Korea missiles launched Thursday morning flew 350 to 800 kilometers of 217 to 500 at a maximum altitude of 50 to 100 kilometers and 30 to 60 miles before landing in waters outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. He had initial uh, analysts suggested the second missile was possible launch on an irregular trick to it is a term that has been previously used to describe the flight characteristic of North Korea weapons models at the Russia Island Zerg missile which travels a low altitude and designed to maneuver in flights to improve its chances of invading missile defense 
On Tuesday, North Korea staged its most proactive weapons demonstrating in years, <clears throat> firing a intermediate range missile over the Japan for the first time in five years. The launch led to Japanese government 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 to issue a evacuation alert and halt trains. <clears throat> it says experts say the weapon was uh, likely a Harrison 12 missile capable of reaching the United States Pacific, Pacific Territory of Guam and beyond. Other missile tests early reportedly, including the Islander uh, land missiles and other ballistic missiles, were designed to strike key targets in South Korea, including U.S. Uh, military bases there. And it says Thursday's launch came at the aircraft uh, carrier, the USS Ronald Reagan, returned to waters east of South Korea in what South Korea military called an attempt to demonstrate the Allies' form willing to counter North Korea to team provocation and threats. The carrier was in the area last week as past drills between South Korea and the United States and the Allies, others training involving Japan, North Korea, considered U.S. and U.S.-led drills near the peninsula as an evasion of rehearsal and viewing training involving a U.S. carrier and more proactive. <clears throat> I mean, pro provocative Salaki, North Korea foreign minister uh, said in a statement Thursday that the redeployment of the uh, breaking strike group poses a serious threat to the stability. Uh, I did. Yeah. So you was able to get your uh, beer, sir? Okay. Sorry. Because I know you uh, spun like 155 and the other one was like one so. So that was like three so. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah, I got you something too, bro. Sorry, man. It's all right. Says, yeah, these kind of more better than the regular ones. <laughs> right. I think. Yeah, regular one is chocolate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Uh, so lucky. Let's talk to my uh, brother. Uh, continue reading on with the list article. It says North Korea foreign minister said in a statement Thursday that the redeployment of the Reagan strike group posed a serious threat to the stability of the situation in Korean Peninsula in the vacancy after the North Korea immediate range missile launch. The United States and South Korea also carried their own live drills that have so far involved land-to-land -land missiles and precision guide bombs dropping from fire jets. It says, but one of it tilt for tech launches nearly caused catastrophic early Wednesday, right? Because I read that report of South Korea trying to... Uh, do a missile because they had United States and uh, South Korea did a somewhat of a, a drill and the f uh, one of the weapons was uh, misfired or something like that in the wrong direction I believe it says the Hamsu 2 missile flipped shortly after a liftoff and crashed into a air force base in the eastern Eastern coastal city of Guang, Guang, Guangang, if I pronounced that right. South Korea's military said no one was hurt from the crash and civilian casualties were affected. It says after Thursday's uh, North Korea launch, the United States, Great Britain, France, Albania, Norway, Ireland calls for an emergency. 
of the uh, UN security of the uh, North Korean foreign minister statement Thursday said a strong condemned the U.S. led efforts as the UN Security Council to tighten sanctions on North Korea over its recent missile tests, which it describes as a a just counteraction to joint the U.S. South Korea drills. North Korea has carried out a record number of missiles this year, amending the long diplomacy with the United States. The U.S.-led effort aims to convince North Korea to give up on its nuclear program, which is highly doubted right now at the moment. <laughs> highly doubted. Because uh, North Korea is going to ignore the United States. They're going to ignore the U.N. They're going to ignore Japan. And they definitely going to ignore South Korea. Because, as you know, I previously did videos about Kim Jong-un is going to continue to recognize his country as a nuclear weapon uh, state, I mean, uh, a nuclear weapon country, as he continue firing off these uh, missiles, uh, firing, testing these missiles, you know. It says, due to the dispute of the U.S.-led sanctions of North Korea, so yeah, hey, these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely increasing. And it's definitely increasing between the United States and South Korea and Japan versus North Korea. Uh, bring out that. Matthews 24 and 6, as I always bring out, of these sit down lessons. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be no trouble, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. And nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Luke 21 and 9. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by end by. <clears throat> yeah, because these are. Uh, Rumors of wars uh, increasing, especially on an everyday basis. I mean, it's like every day you look on uh, not like the regular news, but like alternative news around the world, you'll see these tensions increasing between the nations and different kingdoms as well, too. That's why I brought up Matthew 24 and 6, uh, 24 and 6 through uh, verse 7. Of the rumors of wars are uh, heating up now more than ever. Joel 3 and 10, let the weak say I am strong. That's what you're seeing from North Korea. As North Korea, uh, as I mentioned before, ignored the UN of uh, they doing their violation of uh, their nuclear missile tests because they want North Korea to destabilize and denuclearize their nuclear capability which is Kim Jong-un is not going to follow that order and he's not going to listen to the United States. He's not going to listen to South Korea. He's not going to listen to Japan. He's not going to listen to anybody, you know. So he's uh, against all of them. And Kim Jong-un at this moment, he's he going to do what he, Kim Jong-un, going to do what Kim Jong-un want to do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, how about Chanel Shad putting that spirit on him, that warlike, that warlike type, which is in Joel 3 and 9, of uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shai is stirring up the wars of these nations, you know. And I'm gonna bring that out since I mentioned it. Uh, this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentile, which is the other nations. Prepare war, wake up the mighty man. And that's what you're seeing from Kim Jong un. Hey, he's Yah Bashim al Shai is putting that warlike type mindset on the uh, North Koreans, Iranians as well, too, and the Russians, and Chinese, 
That's why you've been seeing these nations doing these uh, military exercise drills, uh, these military uh, ground troop drills, uh, missile launch tr training, these joint naval base uh, trainings with their allies uh, against their adversaries, just in case if anything goes down or an emergency or public announcement, just like North Korea, I mean, just like Japan made at the North Korea fired that missile on Tuesday. So that was just like prime examples of, you know, what, what time that we are living in, you know? Hey, we're living in that time of war. Quietly, slowly, but surely, the increase of the nations rising up against nations and kingdom against kingdoms as well, too. And this is Book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshares at the swords and the plunder hooks and let the weak say I'm strong, right? Just like the nations like Iran, Russia, China, North Korea, and many more other countries, they are definitely showing their nuclear capability, you know? That's why you're starting to see the strength of these other nations, you know? Especially that they are adversaries with the uh, modern-day Babylon, modern-day Babylon, and and others as well too. You know these nations showing their nuclear capability and strength. You know have been up, been approved over the years. You know, so it's going to increase more and more and more of these tensions between these nations and different kingdoms. You know, as we see these starting to heat up and increase more and more and more. You know. So with that, uh, that's all I wanted to bring out of this news update from North Korea as they fired two more missiles. And you got the United States redeploying their uh, carriers near the uh, Korean Peninsula. So these uh, tensions are definitely stirring up between North Korea versus South Korea, the United States and Japan, you know. So that Joel 3 and 10 is definitely increasingly and coming to full effect. Let the weak say I am strong with North Korea and many other nations as well too. And this is going to continue to increase more and more and more, you know. So with that, <clears throat> once again, I hope this uh, sit down lesson for in the news on October 5th, 2022 was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, White Yahweh Shah. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preach the word truthfully and sincerely, and the uh, Shalom to the Akim. Scat through the four corners of the globe, preach the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto a speckled bird, Preach the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.